Hello everyone and welcome to Study IQ English. I am Joy C. Joy and in this video we are going to discuss about LIBOR and MIBOR. LIBOR is London Interbank Offer Rate and MIBOR is Mumbai Interbank Offer Rate. We will discuss about LIBOR and MIBOR in detail from the examination perspective. Let's get started. First coming to LIBOR. What is LIBOR? It's London Interbank Offer Rate or Offered Rate. So Interbank, this is a key term here. From the term interbank, it is clear that it is a rate at which banks lend to each other. Interbank means between the banks, between two banks. So this is the rate at which or this is the benchmark rate at which banks lend to each other. That is LIBOR. Let's come to the details. First thing, it's the benchmark interest rate used by major international banks in international interbank market to lend to one another for short term loans. So from this we get the whole idea regarding what is LIBOR. <laughs> LIBOR is basically a benchmark interest rate. What is meant by a benchmark interest rate? A benchmark interest rate is a reference rate or a standard rate which is used for some comparison or for some reference. Let us take for example repo rate in India. A repo rate is decided by the RBI. The Monetary Policy Committee decides on the benchmark interest rate which is a repo rate. Now, a repo rate is a benchmark interest rate. What does it mean? It means it sets a standard or it also means that it is a reference rate. Same way, LIBOR is also a benchmark interest rate or it's also a reference rate. So, it's a benchmark interest rate which is called the reference rate used by major international banks that is at the international level because it's lender and interbank offer rate. So it's used by major international banks and for what purpose why is it used for interbank lending that is lending between one another banks lending between each other <laughs> for short term loans and this is for short term loans. So this is LIBOR. Now let's see how uh, LIBOR becomes a benchmark interest rate. LIBOR serves as a globally accepted key benchmark interest rate that indicates borrowing cost between banks. So LIBOR basically gives an idea regarding the borrowing cost between the banks. So with this borrowing cost, it gives an indication or it gives a reference or a standard in order to fix the interest rate at which the banks should lend to each other. So that's how it becomes a key benchmark interest rate and it's globally accepted. That means when banks lend to each other at the international level, that is in the international interbank lending market. So there it acts as a key reference rate or a benchmark rate. The rate is calculated and it will be uh, published by Intercontinental Exchange. Now, who publishes the LIBOR? This is also very important. It is published by Intercontinental Exchange or ICE and it is published each day. So, this is published on a daily basis. LIBOR uh, in these recent years has been put to various criticism, has been subject to manipulation, scandal, methodological critique, etc. And that's why it has uh, become a less credible benchmark interest rate. And uh, the, the reason has actually made uh, LIBOR being replaced by secured overnight financing rate or the SOFR. So, the last few years LIBOR has been facing a lot of criticism regarding its transparency, regarding manipulation, methodological uh, problems, etc. And uh, <laughs> that's why it is considered to be less credible today and USA has already dropped out from the LIBOR mechanism. And LIBOR will be replaced by SOFR. SOFR is secured overnight financing rate. So this is also overnight which will be calculated on a daily basis. So SOFR will be in place from June 30th, 2023. And the LIBOR has already began its phase out from 2021. So since 2021 onwards, LIBOR is getting phased out in different phases and SOFR will replace LIBOR. This is very important for your examination. Next, we will see what is a reference rate. What does a reference rate actually mean? So, reference rate is a benchmark interest rate which is used to determine other interest rate. As we said, a reference rate or a benchmark interest rate is a standard and standards are always used for comparison. So, standards are used for comparison. Now, for what kind of comparison? It is used to determine other interest rate. Other interest rate means 
if there is a benchmark interest rate if there is a standard interest rate the other interest rates can be calculated based on the standard interest rate or the benchmark <coughs> interest rate let's take for example libor provides an indication of average rate at which libor panel banks could obtain wholesale unsecured funding for set periods in particular currencies so this provides an indication of the average rate libor provides an indication of average rates and based on this standard or based on this average the other related banks or other banks can uh, provide interbank lending with reference to this libor lenders can then use this rate to determine the interest rate for a variety of debt instruments so lenders lenders are the institutions or financial institutions that lend money lenders can decide the interest rate on on various debt instruments not just on interbank but on various other debt instruments like mortgages commercial loans financial products like derivatives etc the need for benchmarks to be based on transparent arms length transactions has been reinforced by global regulators including the financial stability board and international organization of securities commissions industry has started to utilize a raft of alternative reference rate and from australian interbank overnight cash rate to swiss average rate overnight strategies are in place to embrace a new benchmark so this is how a reference rate works a reference rate provides a standard which can be used as a benchmark by the lending institutions to fix their lending rates next we are coming to mibar LIBOR is at the international level. We have seen that it is used as a reference rate for international interbank transactions or lending. So this is uh, LIBOR is for international interbank lending purpose. Now, when it comes to MIBAR, MIBAR is for Indian banks. MIBAR is the uh, LIBOR version of India. That is MIBAR. It is Mumbai interbank offered rate. Why Mumbai interbank offered rate? Because most of the banks have their headquarters in Mumbai, and Mumbai is the financial capital of the country. Uh, RBI, the Monetary Authority headquarters, is located in. Uh, mumbai and uh, the financial institutions financial regulators are all located in mumbai that's why it is called as mumbai interbank offered rate so remember that mibar is the libor version in india it's a overnight lending rate offered by indian commercial banks that is if libor is the international interbank lending rate mibar is the national level that is it is a rate at which the banks in india lend to each other that is mibar it's derived from data provided by a panel of 30 banks and main dealers mibar was created in 1998 and it's based on the more well known libar so mibar was created in india in 1998 and it's based on libar that's why i said it's the libar version in india it's a libar version in india the mumbai interbank uh, overnight rate or the mibar is a short term loaning offered rate for indian business banks so this is the interbank lending rate in india for short term loans suppose if two banks are there and uh, bank a wants to uh, borrow money from bank b b is a lending bank and borrower bank is a so uh, mibar is the interbank borrowing rate or the lending rate in india this is for indian banks to lend to each other this is a reference rate or the standard rate banks acquire and loan cash to each other on the interbank market to keep up fitting legitimate liquidity levels to meet safe necessities put down them by controllers so what are the purposes for which the bank needs to maintain the liquidity or what are the situations where the bank can have a liquidity crisis and then uh, borrowing is necessitated so this is when they have a criteria for fitting liquidity requirements then meet necessities that are put by the controllers like the rbi and all the crr requirement slr requirement etc for all these banks need liquidity and if banks go short of liquidity for a short term then in that case uh, it is given by some other banks interbank borrowings can be made and the interest rate charged on such interbank borrowings would be mibar so mibar is the interest rate charge mibar is resolved every day by the nse so uh, in case of london uh, interbank offer rate we have seen that it is 
prepared by and published by IC on a daily basis and when it comes to India, MIBAR, it is resolved every day. This is also calculated on a daily basis by the National Stock Exchange of India Limited, NSEIL. <laughs> and this is the advance expense at which banks can get resources from various banks in Indian interbank market. So this works in the Indian interbank market. And the rate is used at this point for forwarding arrangements and floating rate debentures. Next is MIBID. MIBID is Mumbai Interbank Bid Rate. It's different from uh, MIBAR. That's why I'm taking it separately. Mumbai Interbank Bid Rate. It's a loan cost that one taking part in a bank would pay another to attract deposit of funds. This is for deposit of funds. That is bidding rate. It's a, this rate would be lower than financing cost proposed to those needing to acquire reserves. And this is to give, give the bank a benefit from the spread of revenue acquired and paid. Now we need to know what is a spread for a bank. Now for a bank or a financial institution the spread refers to the difference in the interest rates. Now what are the two different interest rates? One is the interest on deposits. Another one is interest on loans. Obviously interest on loans would be higher than interest on deposits. So difference between these two interest rates is known as a spread of the bank and it's a major part of the profit of the bank. Okay. The MIBID is typically lower than MIBAR. So this is very important. MIBID is lower than MIBAR. So MIBAR rates are higher than MIBID. This is important also to remember. Together the MIBID and MIBAR comprise a bid offer spread for Indian short term lending rate. So this is with regard to MIBID. I hope uh, this is clear for you. LIBAR, MIBAR and also MIBID. I hope to see you in the next video. Wishing you all the very best. Thank you.